Morning Freak Show, Wild 941 Bay's Party Station. Uh, it looks like Lotto is trying to put some money in folks' pocket after uh, met. This is the difference in, in, in the music game now. People can hear a lyric on a record and then immediately go to social media and a wave will get started. And next thing you know, they get a result. You've never really seen somebody get so mad at a lyric that they could turn it around that fast. Brokey just dropped. <laughs> Brokey is about, you know, people not being able to do what Lotto can do. Right. She's got lyrics on there to talk about, you know, these chicks need to try and step their game up. They think stuff sweet, blah, blah, blah. You ain't got no car. You ain't got this, that, and the other, whatever. So some fans felt some type of way about it and attacked the lyrics on a viral kind of wave online. And so now, oh. Lotto has said that I hate that y'all, direct quote, are calling hard, will think that I'm calling hard workers brokies. Oh. I mean, so kinda... I got $10,000 for whoever makes the best video at their job to the brokey song. I'll fly you out. You'll be in the music video. No more waiting until your birthday to get out of town. Tag me and hashtag brokey. So I can see them all, That's and somebody's cool. going to get ten thousand dollars. I took that personal just now. Like, <laughs> you can't go on vacation till you get your check. I like, mean, man, that's what. <laughs> listen, we know when people' birthday come around, they're like, "Ooh, we going to Ibiza, girl," mm-hmm. you know. But she's like, "Hey, that's the, and it's the definition of brokey in this economy. A lot of people are running around brokey." Yeah, that's coming from the girl that tried to charge me two hundred dollars for a picture. So. I, she did. <laughs> you know what I'm she, she ain't want that smoke, she, Meredith. Charge yeah, two hundred. Yeah, yeah. At, at Wild Splash. Yeah, it was right before she went up on stage. Um, um, and she had time. It wasn't like she was rushing. I made sure to, you know, because what we do for a living, she was just taking her time with, like, uh, her makeup person. So um, her makeup person got done, and I walked up to her. I was like, hey, do you mind if I get a picture with you really quick before you hit the stage? And she goes, that's going to be $200. $200. She told her that. At Wild Splash? Meredith walked over with to bags. me and said, do you know that she just tried to charge me $200 for a photo? And I work here. <laughs> we hired her to be here. I mean, yeah, but still, like, you know, I mean, if, that's I'm not the, if that's the price. I a photo, but I was just be, I was very nice about it. It wasn't like storming up on her She didn't want to smoke, Meredith. You had a cute outfit on. Yeah. <laughs> she was Dude, like, I'm not going to be competing with you yeah. over in here. Mm-hmm. $200. Her, her prerequisites for not being a brokey is pretty high, though. Like, I don't have two lambs, four Bentley trucks, oh, twenty yeah. Hellcats. Like, oh, like I just like the lyrics some part that says "cook clean and blank him right." <laughs> <laughs> I'm so heaven sent. What yeah. I look like asking him for another. The, well, I'm, this is crazy. Yeah, it's like they clearly want my life. It's so evident. Cook clean and blank him right. I'm so heaven sent. Mm-hmm. I'm like, well, <laughs> but then nah, so that's awesome. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Ariana Grande's uh, boyfriend. Yeah. Which that oh. those three words right there kind of just set me off because they're still just dating. Mm-hmm. His whole life has been wrecked. It wrecked. Like, you know, his baby is in the middle of the whole craziness because it was just born. Yeah. His girl and him long-standing relationship, that's a wrap. And so the headline reads, Ariana Grande's boyfriend, Ethan Slater, has finalized his divorce with his ex-wife, Lily J. Paid for by Ariana So Grande. now it is on the clock. Yeah, it really is. Now it's the relationship, relationship is on the clock because now she's not taking away somebody else's man. Right. He's now yours. Yeah. And now that he is yours, the clock starts now Mm -hmm. because we've seen her dance in and we've seen her dance out. Yes, many times. So when she now, and I mean, I'm not wishing it on her, but I'm just saying, look at the track record. Yeah. When it's a wrap. We all going to sit back and be like, damn. Is this she like another J-Lo situation? Yeah, no. she's like, whenever she gets, well, she got J-Lo married. doesn't break up homes, but she damn sure don't make one. That's true. But I mean, relationship-wise, like she just can't keep a man. And she just, if there's nothing like um, sensational about it or, um, I don't know, there's you're not stealing somebody's man, then after a while, she'll just go away. I mean, she'll find somebody else. I, I was actually one of the people that thought that this marriage that she just got out of was one that was going to work. Like, she seemed like she was happy. Yeah, in the there beginning. wasn't any. Yeah, after she's a happy while, until she, got she bored. saw the BBD. Bigger, better deal. Yep. Oh. Once she sees that and she sees somebody, remember when they she was doing the Broadway uh, or the movie, yeah. uh, the movie Wicked. Uh, Wicked, and then she was spending all the time on set with the guy, yeah. then that became the better option. Mm-hmm. She wasn't with her husband because they were in separate countries and she was over there. So now out of sight, out of mind. Mm-hmm. The bigger, better deal was the guy who's right here in front of me. But when he's not right there in yeah. front of you, yeah, no, seriously, then it. it doesn't really go that route. So, I mean, it's just... Just listen, 
the boy is yours now. <laughs> Enjoy that clock. Attack. You're on the clock. Yeah. Now, we, we don't want to see you on Christmas by yourself. All right? Don't press up Abby home. How can I play you? I'm in love with a stripper. Freak show. All about love. And 50 is not. 50 is about love, but not about the hunch and hunch. Mm -hmm. He is celibate. Yeah, he is right now. Yeah, he is is celebrating celibacy. He explained how practicing celibacy allows him to develop a true foundation of a friendship uh, as far as his relationship is concerned. I feel like it's so easy for somebody in that position position just to get it. So I see why he's he's on this track. Could it be me? (laughs) I mean, he he was the person who was uh, out there... (laughs) With the uh, you know the 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 standard kind of NDA yeah. approval, you know, hey, you're here Quick. under your own volition, notarized kind of thing. He was the first person yeah. that we ever heard of bringing folks home and doing that. Um, your boy Shay Shay, oh yeah, <laughs> is kind of looking like this was more of a plan than we thought. How so? Yeah, this was definitely a setup. He's been selling those pills. Or kind of promoting those pills, the row sparks or uh-huh. whatever they are. Pills for what? They're supposed to get you yang right. Oh. Okay, they, like mo- the they motivators. They, they make you sound like a bear. They, yeah. <laughs> we'll call them motivators. Okay. Medical motivators. I love All right? it. All right, so he's Enhancers. been holding them up and like, hey, you know, I can get y'all some of these and y'all can do it too. Kind of thing like making a joke about it. Yeah. Now he has merch that he is selling. No. That's my Michelle. <laughs> oh my! My Michelle. That's my Michelle. <laughs> the shirt says, "That's my Michelle." Oh, night. God. Now you know they call his show the the, the nightcap, mm. uh-huh. but it says the night clap film department. Oh, and see now, that's that was my quick. Michelle. Well, the nightcap is supposed to be the yak. It, like you take a sip of yak for the nightcap. Uh-huh. The, the, he does that for his show. That was Everybody really quick. Night clap film department. That's my Michelle. And now. Is this smart? I mean, he's already a millionaire. He's already benefiting. I mean, if you do accidentally do something like this, don't you want to just go ahead and put out some merch? If it was an accident. Listen, nah, it, it definitely was not an accident. One, two, two reasons why. One, usually ESPN fires people for a lot less. And two, but they only have him part time. <laughs> and he uh, he didn't. It wasn't any visual. It's still Disney yeah. though. Disney you know. Disney's Disney quick play. to fire people. Yeah, yeah but true. see, yeah, this is a different Disney now. Disney is employing, uh, you know, uh, Pat McAfee. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. He's out there cussing in the middle of the midday. That's yes. my boy. You know, every time I turn it on, <laughs> so it's like we can't really talk about the ears like it's the Disney of old cussing because it's is, not the same. Cussing yeah. is different than. Ah. But yeah, yeah. But, it's, but is it though? Because I mean, he said some kind of saucy stuff on there, but it was only audio. It wasn't visual of him doing it. He said one word that was actionable, and that word isn't worse than anything we hear on the Pat McAfee show. Right. So the new ESPN is not going to just bounce him out of there for that. I don't think yeah. so either. Yeah, yeah so. McAfee been cursing, Deadpool, all that stuff. Like, yeah, but still, I've seen ESPN. Like, there's like, look at the Paul Pierce thing from back in the day. Like Paul Pierce a couple of months ago, he had dancers that were on camera while. They would do that was something different because you're looking at a visual where kids who are watching sports fans who are watching seeing their commentator in front of women making it where they're making it rain on these chicks or whatever. That that whole deal right there was a much different thing because that visual we've talked about it. Why 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 Ray Rice ain't never popped up anywhere because that visual why is Diddy's thing couldn't get out of your mind because that visual Mm. visuals are very much different than having an audio track get released. Audio tracks don't mean you. You don't see it anymore. By the time that when Diddy's video popped up, you still kept seeing it every day because yes. people were like, yo, this is crazy. Ain't nobody going to keep playing the video over and over again of some audio. So yeah. it's not the same With thing. the camera, like looking up at the ceiling or a wood Yeah, a you know, I mean, like, we just like looking that. at the wood. That's mm-hmm. all. Just looking at the wood. <laughs> yeah, so, yo, so, don't, so don't. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's, I mean, it's, listen, I, I, am, I am sitting here under these texts that are coming in about Puff. We've... We're going to be talking about him all day. Yeah. You know, and uh, the indictment that was uh, coming to fruition was supposed to be, according to yesterday, is supposed to be handled today. He was supposed to be arrested today, uh, but they went in and got it yesterday a day early because it could have been because he was trying to cooperate. They said his lawyer said he relocated specifically for these charges that were coming to fruition. So that fell into the exact same plan they described last night. He thought that it was going to happen today. They were going to come and arrest him in a very low-key way. He would go to his lawyer's office. They would then come and get him. Yeah. It wouldn't be, you know, it wouldn't be on the front page. Mm-hmm. But 
doing so yesterday, surprising him, could keep him from flight. Or it could be that the prosecutor was just like, you know what? I'm done. Go get him right now. Wow. And they did it at his hotel. Oh, gosh. And so guests people. all got a chance to see it. And so videos are now going to be permeating the That's social media streams. Yeah, we're definitely going to be seeing this. I can't. Um, I'm a little excited to see what he's going to be charged with. Sorry. I mean, I, you, I am. you keep saying excited. Well, no. I, I, is that the right word? Probably is that, is that Is that the... Is, 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 yeah, I Is want him. Right I want. I, I am excited to see him potentially go down because of all the different allegations and everything that's coming out about him. Yes, it, because this should have happened a long time ago. And because these people are have so much money and are so powerful and have so many lawyers, they're so protected in the industry. I am whatever fill in the the, the word I should be using. I'm happy that it's actually happening. I'm not excited. I'm gonna say I'm just nosy. I just want to know. <laughs> like, <laughs> I just I, I'm I'm sad. I'm I'm saddened about it. I, you know, like it's not, I mean, I've said it, that it happened. It's an it's another success story that we got to wipe off the, the plan board. Yeah, and, definitely. You know, and I mean, and and it's through all the doing of his own. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But but it's another success story where you look at, wow, Russell Simmons did this, and then he made it here, and so hip hop can. Okay, well, then maybe not Russell because he's like off in Valley High and whatever. Mm -hmm. All right, well, well, you know what? R. Kelly was a songwriter and blah, blah, and he was under the L train in Chicago, which taught him how to sing higher and stronger because he had to oversing the trains and blah, blah. Okay, all right, he's off the board. Okay, wait, look now. Bill Cosby gave college colleges money across the country and started careers and he... Boom. Spanish fly. What? Oh, God. Okay. Yep. All right. Yeah. I mean, so, you know, it's just people getting removed off the chessboard. It's yeah. sad. There's so many rumors that have come out within the last six months about Diddy. I just want to know what's actually true and what's not. And I want to know where that uh, that drug mule plays into this whole thing. Oh, because there's, there's so many things that, like, so many loose ends that we've been finding out. Yeah. I mean, but the, th the thing is, the he people have talked about that mule part, like, as it was like an additive. Like, this was just something to... For, for people to kind of throw into for the civil... You're going to hear more about that on the civil side. Mm. Um, um, the the people who are running the civil case, like the little, little Rod kid that, that produced some of the Love album, and uh, I think the girl from uh, Dirty Money, uh, Dawn, and a few of them, those are civil charges. And so those are going to be handled after the criminal part because this indictment that's coming from the grand jury is going to help their civil case. So once that comes to fruition, then they civilly, they can go after him as well because the evidence is going to be announced today why the grand jury called for this indictment. Okay, question. So he's going to be in front of a judge today, correct? Yes. Okay, um, and then is he going to go back to jail afterwards or it's going to be potentially set a bond and then get him out potentially? I, is that how that goes? Yeah, that's how that goes. Okay. Uh, now, you could we do it two charges. different ways. I mean, you don't know the specific charges of the indictment. That'll happen today. But what you do see on both sides is they say, okay, hey, give us your your passport. Uh, you know, you don't have the ability to get away. Mm -hmm. However, we know he's got 60-something million from a deal he just did like a week ago. He's got, you know, the house that he just put up for sale. Yeah. He's got a lot of assets where he's been kind of like circling the wagons. This would be the time where somebody tries to get away right. to like some sort of place without extradition. And that's why they took him in earlier. Yeah, that's, I mean, you know, he can mess around and say, hey, Russ, you got a room? Yep. You know, and head over there. But now he, he because he said that he moved and relocated to New York, back to New York, because he was doing to that this. to show he was taking this seriously, yeah. then that might mean that he isn't a flight risk, but... They're not trusting that. Yeah. Because well, that makes sense. The same reason why they changed their mind just that fast. He could be sitting at home and be like, you know what, man, forget this and jump on a plane and be gone. So I don't think they're going to let him out with that kind of he possibility. Seems, he seems like he's had such a big ego for such a long time. Do you think Diddy is nervous? Yes. Okay. I think I, I'm from from us dealing with 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 Puff as far as the record mogul guy. Mm hmm and as far as the artist, because we've had him perform on the last damn show, but we've also dealt with him with his artists, Cassie and everybody else that have come through. So both sides of it, he's been somebody who's a really, really uber person who has to be in control. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
this is outside of his per he he has no control over right. any part of it like i mean even his legal defense that has to he has to defer to other people now he's used to barking out hey lawyers do this he controlled a lot of the lawyers and he isn't a he isn't a law professor yeah. so listening to him is just because he had the cachet to tell the lawyers what to do now he's not in control that's why that picture on central park in the, in the yesterday of him sitting on the bench is so telling because him sitting there with his head down and his kid pacing on the phone probably to somebody who he could talk to about it which would probably only be his brother right you know or one of his sisters so he's on the phone like man they talking about they about to take him to jail blah 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 and he's sitting here looking down and the lawyer is talking to him he ain't doing the talking yeah. Puff always is doing the talking he's shift. sitting there like they're like oh for real this is about to really go down and it's 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 a telling picture it's probably going to be the one picture that's all over the headline when the indictment is yeah. is fully put out yeah, it's crazy. Is, is there any way diddy could come back obviously it depends on everything that happens he's getting arrested but is there any way diddy can come back from this Oof. um i mean you want the 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 real answer is everybody has their day in court mm -hmm. yeah you're you're, you're you know, innocent until proven guilty that's what you know you're supposed to say but realistically that video feds don't come after you for just you know little stuff they not, yeah it's yeah. not come late. on i mean feds come yeah. after you when they know they got you they they pretty much when they knock on your door and say we raiding this that and other and then they come in to get you with a grand jury indictment it usually means that they got enough to get at you mm. and and that's without even the civil stuff that is going on so that's going to handle his money but this is this is a big deal. Yeah. I mean, you know, and 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 them looking at it like uh, kind of like the Epstein case, them looking at it like the R. Kelly case. I mean, these are these are those those are the precursors for something like this because this one has way more evidence than we saw about R. Kelly. Yeah. Mm. This has way more evidence than we saw about Epstein. We still haven't seen stuff about Epstein, yeah. and we know all kind of stuff about Puff. Like, so, yeah, I, I can definitely see this not being something that ends well for him. I, w I you know, I, I just want the justice for the people who were in it. True. Um, but it, this is it, this ain't going to be quick either. Yeah, it's going to be a long, this drawn out process. This is not going to be quick. So, you know, it's the, it'll be in front of the camera today. Uh, the uh, person who's over the the uh, SDNY, the South Southern District of New York, is going to be in front of cameras today explaining it all. So we'll wait to see that and let you know what's cracking. Orlando and the Freak Show. Yo, thank you guys for watching the video. For all things wild, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel.